So we last left off at Sand Mountain. As of right now, we're about to enter in a new part of Bikini Bottom. After battling the second robot boss. So I just want to clarify something. I was going to try and finish this walkthrough of Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom. However, I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough time to finish this walkthrough before my hiatus starts. Which is in a couple of days of course. So, I only have like 5 or 6 recordings left of this walkthrough. So what I want to try to do is do a recording today and then another recording tomorrow and then I'll be on my hiatus and then I'll go back doing walkthroughs and I'll go back posting videos in May since I'm about to graduate college by finishing up my last semester. Okay. It looks like we've gotten quite a few shiny objects. Your treasure chests looking at Still need to give Mr. Krabs six thousand five hundred shiny objects. Alright then. We just need 40 golden spatulas to battle the next robot boss. So, now it's time to go to the industrial park. And it's Robot Patrick that we battle next. He's a seen nice cream. Well, we better figure something out, and pronto. Maybe that button on his back is a self-destruct. I'll try to hit it. Good idea, SpongeBob. But it's time to stop yapping and get to it. Yikes! Looks like SpongeBob's in for a rough ride. So it looks like there's a weak spot on Patrick's back. Great Barrier Reef. After Patrick. Gets a little dizzy. Look at that! The robot made him himself kick him dizzy. Here. That's the ticket. You better get away from his ice cream or his goo. Doshi do, and around you go. It's actually hot goo. Disguised as an ice cream cone. And the robot is down. Just do the it again. Change tactics and fast. And do this once more. Try not to get hit by the hot goo. Now we do this one more time. Robot Patrick looks like he's down. But then he throws SpongeBob. You push this squirrel too far. Get ready for a hot sponge twister, Texas style. 
What is Sandy going to do to get SpongeBob unfrozen? Well, with Sandy, it's a lot different. For the first time, you can try to avoid Robot Patrick's hot goo. And then you can kick him here, literally. And what he does is brings a pool of that hot goo. Could melt anything. Better try to get away from it. And then what we must do is try to avoid the hot goo. Let me just show you what to do afterwards. Swing on the lasso to create a path. Better change tactics so you advance. don't get yourself in the hot goo pool. One more douse with that stuff, and SpongeBob will be back in the ring. Of course he will. Going on to battle Robot Patrick once again. I used to love the way he says that as a kid. do see do and around you go. When it stops, no one knows. Okay, now... Squidward and Spongebob is free. It's time to roll out some robot punishment. That does it! SpongeBob is back in the fight! And now watch out for Robot Patrick's frozen breath. It could freeze you until you're either hit with hot goo or for a few seconds. I forget which one is the right one. It looks like SpongeBob has an opportunity! And now here. instead of trying to and fast. Spin that robot, or hit, hit, hit that robot, go up and hit him, you actually bubble ball instead. It looks like Spongebob has an opportunity here! So we just do this one more time, and then Robot Patrick is beaded for good. And I didn't even get hit by the hot goo. And not until now. How did that even happen? I was on a level. Okay, go. how does this oh, keep happening? That was a doozy. It just happened again. I feel like a new sponge. Maybe on these conveyor belts it would be easier to avoid it. Okay, so just bubble bowl that is back once more. Now the robot. And I defeated Robot Patrick. Thanks for saving me, guys. I never thought I'd say this, SpongeBob, but I owe you big time. Thanks, Sandy. We'd still be popsicles if it wasn't for her. Aw, shucks. You fellers are gonna make me blush. I think I have fudge in my pants. I did not need to know that. I'm sorry, Plankton. The Chum Bucket Lab is locked up tight. I don't know if I'll ever get enough golden spatulas to get in. And now we enter a new part of Bikini Bottom, where you almost made it to the Chum Bucket. Yes, it's the Chum Bucket security system. I designed it myself. It makes me so proud. 
It was meant to keep out the hateful throngs of the unwashed. Unfortunately, I never figured I'd be on this side of it. So what are you gonna do, Plankton? We, of course meaning you, are gonna have to go out there and get those golden spatulas! Or I'll never get back into the chum bucket and regain control of my robots. Oh, what'd he say? What was that? Oh, uh, <clears throat> I said, will I ever get back into the chum bucket to stain all my pots? Yes. Something's fishy here. Mm, something's fishy here. And SpongeBob just said it. All right. This is what happens when you talk to Plankton after the first dialogue. Keep looking for golden spatula, SpongeBob. I'm sure that my robots out there have some. <laughs> And now Plankton calls it his robots. Hey, you call them your robots. No, I... And I saw a plaque on the butt of one of the robots that said, Property of Plankton. Well, maybe, but I... And I found this order form for robot parts with your signature on it. Can I have that back? I need it for my tax write-off. I think you've been pulling my leg this whole time. Well, duh! I'll bet you made all these robots. And after I get inside the chum bucket and figure out how to stop them, I'm gonna tell everyone! Fine, tell everyone! Be a big tattletale! I'm still smarter than all of you! Sure are, Plankton. When we find out that these are your robots, you'd be in big trouble, mister. This is what happens when we talk to him again. Maybe this day won't be mine. Or the next. Or possibly even the next. Or 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 the next after that. But the one after the next. After the next. After the next. After that. Well, that one after that. Right next to that one. That will be my day. And how do I know that it's Plankton's day? But anyway, what we can do is explore the rest of Bikini Bottom. And we also get to learn a new bubble move. First, let me get some shiny objects. Get this shiny object right here. If we're gonna learn a new bubble move. Might as well go to Bubble Buddy. Bubble Buddy, I bet the next move you teach me will be the best one ever. Absolutely, SpongeBob. Super Pinky Shake on it? I would if I had pinkies. Here, I'll blow you some. Yeah, maybe later. Now, pay attention, SpongeBob. This bubble's a doozy. Paying my entire salary in attention. When you're not moving, press this button, and you'll blow a bubble that you can steer as it flies through the air. Wow! Aim carefully, though. You've only got a few seconds of flight time before the bubble pops. I'm a bubble blowing machine. Let me show you what Bubble Buddy means by that. So you just pull the L trigger, and when you let go of it, it releases a cruise bubble. I just missed the tiki over there. And you can hit objects in the air. Or break open some stone tikis with it. Just like that. And also over here behind the Krusty Krab is this dumpster where one of Patrick's lost socks is hiding. And 
kanan We use the blue bubble on some tiki's On some more tiki's that is Ooh, break open these teams over there. Are there any more floating tikis? I don't think so, so... I'll go along by collecting more shiny objects. And over here, let me break open these TVs first, get these shiny objects, and then let's go into the box office. May I help you? For here, you need 40,000 shiny objects to enter the theater. So, here's what I'm gonna do after I finish the three levels which are Kelp Forest, Dutchman's Graveyard, and Spongebob's Dream. Off this walkthrough, which will be in probably in May, what I will do is collect some more shiny objects. 40,000 shiny objects for the theater. Because I'll show you what it is before we battle Plankton in the... before what Spongebob finds out and the chum bucket well they are Plankton's robots as we will be battling another robot boss no spoilers and we're gonna be in for a treat So once we get inside the chum bucket, Spongebob might find out who the culprit of the robots may be. And also, there's something I forgot. And no, it is not this floating tiki. Is these buttons? Can't tell if I press it with the cruise bubble. Oh wait, I did. Now I just press the second button. And then the third button. And then a trampoline appears. Up top the chum bucket is a golden spatula and some shiny objects. <laughs> and you see that crusty crab sign over there? Let's see if I can get to it. Wow, six pairs of underwear. I am one unbeatable sponge. Sure are, Spongebob. You are one unbeatable sponge indeed. Wearing 600 pairs of underwear makes Spongebob unstoppable. Alright then. We're actually going to be heading into the chum bucket later. After I finish the three levels and head into the theater. As I believe we need 75 golden spatulas to see what's inside the chum bucket. But I'll go in there after I collect 97 golden spatulas. And then see who's 
behind this robot mess to finish 100% that is. Anyway, why don't we go talk to Mr. Krabs? What's wrong, Mr. Krabs? You don't look so good. You gotta help me, boy. The Krusty Krabs been overrun by a bunch of them hoodlum robots of yours. Those aren't my robots. They've booted me out! And worse! They've got all me beautiful shiny objects! Oh no! They've stolen Mr. Krabs' shiny objects. See, filing the Krusty Krab? Is there no end to their evil? What are we going to do, Mr. Krabs? We, meaning you, are going to clear the robots out, get me back the restaurant, and most importantly, rescue me money! I'll rescue the money for you indeed. Let's talk to him again. No more fry cooking for you until the Krusty Krab is robot free. And no more getting golden spatulas from Mr. Krabs until the Krusty Krab is robot free. So why don't we enter the Krusty Krab? Let me just double check. So it's infestation at the Krusty Krab. This one's inside the chum bucket and the last sock in Bikini Bottom will be in the Krusty Krab, of course. So let's enter the Krusty Krab. And as usual, are you ready, kids? Set and go. All we must do is try and defeat all these robots. But I want to destroy the Duplicator Con first. Alright, didn't go as planned. Defeat that robot. And these robots over there are the. what's it called? Bot. It's a robot that shoots lasers. Hey, you. Sorry, I thought that was a monsoon robot. Then the last two robots are the sleepy time robots. All we must do is sneak by them. Same thing with that other robot over there. And now the robots have been destroyed. You can go see Mr. Krabs for our reward. So yeah, this is where SpongeBob usually works. The Krusty Krab. Unlike where I work it, which is where at a supermarket, or I work in the deli department. Slicing some meats and cheeses. And oh yeah. There's another thing. To get I feel like I should be working. Yeah, you should be working. To get Patrick's lost sock, all we must do is destroy all the sock at the Krusty Krab. Like right here. Try and destroy everything. It shines. Is there any more? I think that's almost it. What everyone tends to miss is the cash register and the ketchup and mustard. And that's how the sock appears on the crow's nest. And we 
get that salt right here. And we got all eight socks in Bikini Bottom. Now we just gotta get our reward from Mr. Krabs. Phew! You had me worried there for a bit, boy. Worried for me money, of course. Here, take this as your reward. Of course, you are worried about the shiny objects. But at least we got ourselves a golden spatula. Your treasure chest's looking a bit light, boy. And we still don't have enough to pay Mr. Krabs some shiny objects for a golden spatula. Alright, I guess I can stop here for now, in a bit. I almost have enough shiny objects to get these crabs. And... For the next part, we should normally go to Kelp Forest. However, now that we got the bubble bowl and cruise bubble, what we need to do is go back to Jellyfish Fields and Downtown Bikini Bottom. So let me just backtrack there. Well, let me just go there to a place where we backtrack. I'll do that recording tomorrow on a Saturday, January 23rd, 2021. And then, that'll be my last recording before my hiatus. And I'll go back to Spongebob Bell for Bikini Bottom and Spyro Year of the Dragon after my hiatus is over in May. So, next time we meet we'll be backtracking to Jellyfish Fields and then downtown Bikini Bottom to get Patrick's Lost Socks from the Bubble Bowl Bowling Air Arena not bowling arena but a bowling challenge and destroying some tiki's with the cruise bubble as well as getting a golden spatula in downtown Bikini Bottom with cruise bubble and getting one of Patrick's Lost Socks there so I'll see you guys later.